if nothing is done to change the situation immediately, it will continue to deteriorate and to become completely extinct. Well, tomorrow, what do you think? What is uh, someone out there that's listening to this broadcast? What can they do to help out with this situation? So my, my next logical question that I asked was, like, why? Why did this happen? So to put it in simplest terms, so anybody's going to stand, I think I best use, like, the Middle East metaphor. It's like um, if there's no democracy. It's like there's two dictators running, and for any type of leadership to work, whether it's dictatorship or a democracy, um, it has to work in the right way. So if it has to be dictatorship, that's fine, but there can only be one dictator. So maybe we need to put, like, the two dictators in a cage and have them just sit out and whoever wins takes over. I don't know. Um, I don't really know what needs to be done, but um, it's it's not. I I think I think there's just too many people and everybody's pointing the finger at somebody else and it's not me, it's him. Um, I don't know uh, how this should be fixed. Um, but it does have to be. I agree 100%. I mean, like you talked about, you, we shouldn't be hiding our athletes or hiding anything glorious Israel does. We have to be showcasing it to the world. It's great PR, and it's a great way for the world to find out that we're more than just simply a war zone. It's excellent house for us. So I hope this situation uh, certainly is rectified. Uh, is, do you know, uh, is there a way people can give any type of donations if they have any uh, spare change around? Um, could you repeat that? You think people could give donations? Would that help as part of the process, or is this uh, just? No, I don't. I don't think it's a matter of don- people. I'm sure that people who want to give donations just have to go to the right place. Right. And I don't even know where that right place is right now. Um, I think that there's too much conflict between the people who had kind of the center, the people who have the Olympic Committee, and the Israeli Ice Skating Federation, and if. They could all work as a team. You know, teamwork is the basis of everything. Even though, you know, I'm working now in an office. It's my first time ever working in an office. And um, they're so successful, the company I work for, because everybody within works with the team. And you have, you have um, first of all, our company, they work with banks. They work with lawyers. They work with investment firms. Um, every single project has many players. And they all work as a team. They collaborate. And so the problem comes up, and trust me, many more problems come up in this world than in the figure skating world. People don't deal with it in a civilized manner. That's the way business is conducted. And it needs to be looked at as a business and not as a political trauma. I don't know. Um, and if it was viewed as a business rather than as a mess, I think that would be best. Well, I think you're 100% right, but I'll tell you one way to get an outlet out of anything frustrating or anything going on that you don't like is to skate, of course. So uh, <laughs> have you been doing a lot of skating while you've been in college? Um, this year I have been skating. Yeah, we have a pen rink, so I've been skating for myself. And um, I've also been doing a lot of um, modern contemporary dance, especially here at North at Broadway Dance Center. But I have been skating. Um, practicing my programs, but just for myself right now, especially I've had a very difficult year, um, kind of had to find yes. my way back. Um, and I'm also, not, I don't know, aside from that, uh, where the future lies for me in figure skating, especially with the situation and funding. Um, so, but I have been skating, definitely. Well, that's good. And so are you going to spend the entire summer now in New York, or...? Yeah. Um, my internship is lasting through the entire summer. Well, I'm staying at NYU dorm. Wow, nice. Nice. And it must yeah. be a nice change of pace, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's very different than anything I've ever done. Um, you, New York is interesting. All kinds of people here have met um, dancers, actors, just men. It's definitely a different dynamic. Tabar, who's crazier, the people in New York City or the people in Israel? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great question. Um, there are a lot of Israelis here, and they only ask for that. Um, but I, I <laughs> especially in, uh, in real estate and in brokerage, well, there are a lot of Israelis. I think, right. uh, I'm sure. I think maybe New York. Um, now, <laughs> people in New York are there. Israelis are very down to earth. Now, let me ask you this because, I mean, that's an interesting question, but the real question is Boston or New York? 
That's a great question. <laughs> New York. A, a year ago, I would have said Boston. Wow. Oh, yeah, but I've been living here for three weeks, New York, 100%. Yeah. There's Andy, no place like it in the world. Andy grabbed Sorry, his phone when you said that. I know. <laughs> My fair sense. Well, I'll tell you what, speaking of Boston, of course, we, we had a bet about a year ago. The uh, Celtics and Lakers were in the NBA Finals. <laughs> and yes. the loser, of course, was supposed to send an autograph picture to the winner. Now, I understand. I actually did send. I did send. No, I know you did, but there's something that is really mail. I never got it. Can I message you my, my mom's? This really mail is like, you know. Well, we know for person, you know, it's both ways too. Israel to America and America to Israel is always. Oh, I think getting out of the country is worse. I think it's it's easier. easier. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Tomorrow, can I message you my uh, mom's address (laughs) so you can send it? So you know you won't be on the move. Yes, I think you know because all the all the packages my mom sent to the United States are fine. It's like the internal workings of the mail system in Israel. I don't know what's going on over there. Right. I mean, maybe, maybe we need to infiltrate. <laughs> you know, it's so funny. When I first moved here, like somebody knocked on my my gate at my house, and she comes out and she's like, "I've been receiving your mail for one month, <laughs> and I will not do this anymore." And just throws the mail at me, and I was like, "Wow!" Because see, tomorrow Andy lives on Asa, Asa, and there's a street called Asa. Right, and they made a mistake in the mail, <laughs> and and the, yeah, of course, and so uh, yeah, they were. Asa, and they send it to Asa. Right, exactly. So, uh, yeah, so you know, I, I know the frustrations are he's feeling here, but he he really wants this picture. Oh yeah, I wanted sure. to post the picture in the studio. I mean, I'll you know I'll post it in the studio <laughs> later on, but it was not just obviously that's you. And then your autograph, but acknowledgement that I won the bet. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's all part of it, too. You did, you did win the bet. Uh, you, did, you, got you, you got to love Israel for that. That's one of the things I love about Israel, but can't. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but uh, this 